And we're back in the game with some more Call of Warhammer, beginning of the end times, playing as Bretonia. So there's people who run around the countryside on the backs of horses. I guess it's the horses that are doing the running around. Right, here we are. Last time we got a sneaky, very, very sneaky capture of Brion. Or Brion, I believe it was. We also picked up Bordelo. Or Bordelieu. Uh, we have uh, Gilles de la Tour over here, who was doing some scouting work. Excuse me. And we're building up some more forces. Or would be if we had any money, which we shall have in the next turn. Alright. Got our diplomat up there, and we've got a diplomat down there. Spy in Aquitaine and a spy in Paravon. And there's some nasty people. Nasty blood sucking people. Right. Don't have any extra troops there. No. Four in there and four in there. Might be able to get an extra unit. You for there. Not a garrison unit. Okay. Uh, we got the Dark Elves blockading our ports, which isn't good. Kind of hoping the vampires and the Dieter von Karstein do not attack. But they might. We can at least see that um, Skaven rebels are holding the Black Chasm. That would be a good strategic point there. Okay, summer fairground, that should normally boost your trade income, which is good. Uh, there's that agent all the way over here at Urslo, which has been moved again. Some points it's been up here, some points down here. It's currently up here in this version. And the other one is down here. Kind of wandering around aimlessly. I suppose, uh, well, I'm sure we have trade with the Wood Elves, but let's at least go and visit them. I'd like a, an alliance with them if we could. Got a spy at Brion. Brion. So we can go and find out who's over here. Probably Skaven. Yep. Skaven Hive. She is neutral. The other runners in there. Ah, there's rebels in here. Well, if we attack them and wipe them out, there's nothing to deter Skaven after us. Get Jill out of here. Suppose we could have him come over and build a watchtower. Right there. No extra troops. Two of you in there, two of you over there, right, those archers are garrison units. I guess we're going to go after Aquitaine as we get attacked by anyone. They're still building up our economy. There's a lot of good economic buildings out there that boost the taxes, losing population. What else can we build at Gisero? 4,000, 3,000, or 4,200, or even 3,000 for the windmill. Get the windmill. A brothel will allow us to get another spy. Could be useful. Right, so that's most of our money gone. Let's get some more archers. We have enough for one more archer. If there's any available. You're not available. And you're not available. Right over here. Ah, yes. Good. Next archer. 
because we don't have much firepower. We have, um, we're not very defensive because our infantry are quite weak. We are very offensive on the battlefield because we have a lot of shock cavalry. And that's where we're going to get most of our kills from because otherwise we only have archers, peasant archers. And they have limited ammunition. So basically we have to harass the enemy with our peasant archers. Sacrifice our infantry, our peasant infantry, so our cavalry can get in position and then shock charge them over and over again. We can get trebuchets later on. Uh, they're not very uh, accurate, that's the problem. They're very good long range and they're good for destroying walls. But the battlefields are not that accurate for targeting. Don't even get ballistas. Right, so we do in fact have them as allies. Give me more money. Ooh, that went up quite a bit. Ah, they're not going to go for it now. Right. Go up there. We're going to talk to the green people. To be around here. Nurgalies. Nurgalites. Yeah, they're not interested in that, are they? Just rejected. There's somebody up there. Right, we are going to go and check on our army. Right, do we think we're strong enough to take out them? Two archers, no cavalry except for the general. Alright, let's see if we can take them out. Four archers. Three cavalry from here. Ah, misclicked. Alright, you can join in this time. I hate when that happens. And send these units. That's going to hurt our income because they're getting free upkeep. Stop moving so I can click on you. Alright. Can we get another spy there? And from there, there's the field trebuchet. And um, there's actually some good news. Uh, there's a press release this week that there is going to be a version 3. That version 3 is already being worked on. And that I guess technically they're over halfway because they did say that there's less ahead of them than there is behind them. Get it finished. And so you should go and check out the ModDB page of Call of Warhammer Beginning of the End Times. Uh, apparently there's going to be quite a major overhaul. Uh, voice acting, new units, and two new factions, or was it four? I want to say it was four factions. I could be wrong. It's uh, definitely two factions that are being added. And yes, there's uh, quite a lot of information already out. So, I don't know when that will be available, but when it does become available, I shall download it, uh, do some playtesting, and 
probably start uploading from there. But um, anyway, I will try to finish this campaign before version 3 comes out. Right, let us get some more archers. Okay, that's rather expensive just to add two men. That must be an armor upgrade as well. Is it worth getting one of these? Because they are 2,000. Get like two units of those, like three units of those. Is it worth it? It is if you're attacking at a settlement like this that only has one unit in it. That way you won't be wasting your time besieging them. Okay. That's only one turn to get a port in. So rather quick. Get up there. It's not going to bring in too much. Get any money in from this building? 4200 for that. Rather expensive. Yep, it's taken up most of the money. And in the turn again. Those Skaven are kind of thinking about crossing over into uh, Bretonian territory. Either that or they're just guarding that bridge very well. And apparently we're starving, so that's not good. Get ye back into there. Let's see if we can get some money from the woodies right now. Yeah. I'm going to take that. Could have tried holding out for more, but they might just rejected it again. Ah, there's a Slanesh Oracle. Be a priest, right? Ergo is all the way up here. Give me some money, because you're well off. Just rejected it again. Or is it the blue flat blue faction that's up here? Nope, there's the pink border. Okay. Look at that. That should boost our income quite a bit. Although we're not getting that much trade through here. Maybe because most of the trade will be going to the High Elves and the Dark Elves. And the Lizardmen. None of which particularly like us. Okay. Lariat. I always want to call it Lariat. But it's not. This is only useful if you actually border the sea. See, it's 150% reduction in naval recruitment costs, and we cannot get any ships because we don't border the sea. So it's rather pointless having it there. I do like to have naval trade though. Is there any corruption there? Six. It's not worth building that in any case. Right, they did not sally out from Aquitaine. It's going to hold out for seven turns. We are not going to be attacking it. So we may not, in fact, do anything in this episode. Right, don't have any units to go from there. Send you in there for free upkeep, though. They lose troops from there because it looks like a smaller garrison. 
was in there before. That could have sent them over there. What if we send you out? Nope, for some reason they're not being used the garrison troops. Okay. Well, we're going to get Aquitaine probably in the next episode then. Take Rebel Settlement, that's all the way in the wasteland, which is this area up here. Uh, that's where Marienburg used to be, or at some point has been, in a different version. It will give us two and a half thousand, but we'd have to get troops all the way over there, held by rebels normally. Okay, there's a road. The road apparently stops right there. Let's go in that direction. Didn't discover anything. Let's see who's up here. Up what else? Okay, let's come on down here. Looks like we're just going to be building buildings. I should say constructive buildings. Send these three here. Some free upkeep. To build over here. Trade is already 668. Really going to improve it at the moment, is it? A lot of unrest is a religion. Let's get that in there. Actually, um, church. There's only a hundred and five percent at the moment. Keep working on that economy and it will pay off. Oh, could get another brothel there. That one will give us some money. And we're down to nine coins. Right. See how many they're losing. They've only lost five men from each unit. It's not much. Not, in, not much in the way of attrition. I feel like we're going to be at war with the Skaven fairly soon. Well, our spy got kicked out, so might as well use him somewhere else, like up here. Ah, vampires are stronger, but they haven't taken that settlement. And somehow, he managed to get all the way up here. Alright, go down here, find out who's down there, see if you can find Slanesh, there they are. Well, they reject that pretty quickly, do they just have one settlement up here or not? No, I think they have two, because he's coming from somewhere. There's a port. Guess we should put a shrine in there. Although, religion isn't causing a problem. At least not yet. Causing a big problem in the real world. Right, anywhere else we need to economic building in? Rather expensive just for two extra people. Five thousand for that. Maybe instead we should put in that. Because religion's causing a problem there.
Ah, uh, may as well put that in. This religion is a problem. It's not, but our religion isn't that high. Five turns. Go. Right. Looks like we might get through those five turns and be ready to have a battle at the start of the next episode. So I'm sure the remaining garrison at Aquitaine will sally out. Ah, there's a Skaven there. Another settlement there. Okay, they have besieged. Can't even click on my spy. Right, we'll just bring you down here. Alright, there they are. Let's just try to sell some map info. Pretty good diplomat already. Well, they accepted it. We got 500. Maybe if we should just get a shrine for the Lady of the Lake in all of these places. If we don't have one. I would like to get more money. Money, money, money. We have a shrine. Now we'll put one in. Put a shrine in there. Get another intern in. Three turns to go. Right, we're on the edge of the Order Princes, and there they are. To our allied. He's also a good diplomat. Now, how about you give me some money? Because they're normally quite wealthy. Well, they accepted that, but I'd still like to know what's down here. Now, we have to get you back all the way out here. Go and talk to Nurgles. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that right now. And I already have one here. And get you in to there. Oh, I would like you in there. Ah, what happened to the vampires? But we didn't see them. They tried to attack. Okay, income is going up as far as trade. Very nice. And we've been blockaded. One around there. Got those three.
Well, there's no more economic buildings over here. Do you have a shrine? Do. 500 in here. That one, 4200. That will, in fact, make our ships a little cheaper. Should. We have money enough to build anything here. Nope, we don't. Come on, diplomat. Try to leave this in a position where we can fight that battle at Aquitaine. Start the next episode. You may see, but I should not expect us to agree. Give me more money. I think we'll come up here and talk to the dwarves. Oh, we got a lot of buildings constructed that turn. What are they down to? Maybe they're not even going to sally out. Ah, vamp Ooh, look, a vampire coast army. How interesting that they're over here. They actually start out all the way over here. That's their starting position. We're 26 turns in. I wonder if they could have even expanded over here. Oh. Well, that's one of the new factions in version 2, is the Vampire Coast. You got, um, if you play Total War Warhammer 2, most of their units are going to be pretty familiar to you. Uh, They've got a Necroflex, they've got zombie deckhands, zombie gunners, uh, I think they got sirens, they've got artillery. Keep working on that economy. Four thousand that Marienburg took a lot of money. Right, let's see what they will do at Aquitaine. Aha. They're ready to sally out. Well, we outnumber them quite a bit. We got three, four, five, six, seven cavalry. Don't have as much infantry though. Three, four units. But in numbers, we could probably match them. Those two. Right, so we will be opening, what is it, part six, I think. I think this is going to be part five. So, part five or six will be opening with the Battle of Aquitaine, or the Battle at Aquitaine. So, till next time here on YouTube. Thank you all for watching. Come back and watch some more.